we'll turbo through a few of these. Love it. Before the break. Let's. I'm so excited that the FTC announces click to cancel. That's right. They have a new rule that simply states, hey, companies, you can no longer take advantages, advantage of consumers by making it difficult to cancel your product or service. Oh, oh, good. Think, I don't know, gym memberships. Yep. It yeah. should be just as easy as clicking. I shouldn't have to send a physical letter saying, please, sir, may I be out of my contract? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, subscriptions. Mm-hmm. And, and I've talked before about how I am an avid fan of capitalism. Right. What I am not a fan of is late stage capitalism where it's okay for companies to take advantage of consumers. Right. At the end of the day, the people should be paramount. Can you imagine signing up for a subscription and having to have, I don't know, your spouse's signature on the form that you mm-hmm. download from the website and then have to fax? Oh, yeah. Um, we actually don't have fax where I live. Right. Yeah. You know, 2024. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm so glad to see that predatory behavior squelched by the government. I agree. About time. That's fantastic. Next up, I hope forced uh, forced, uh, arbitration clauses Mm -hmm. uh, deleted from terms of service agreements. Looking at you, Disney and Mm -hmm. Uber. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, There's a uh, proposed South Expressway in Idaho Falls. Oh. So if you're looking at a map of Idaho Falls from north to south, it would be in between 65th South. That's exit 113. Mm -hmm. Uh, The dad's or love's truck stop. Right. Uh Uh-huh. And that's where you go to Wild Adventure Corn Maze. Mm -hmm. And it would be in between that and 81st South. Okay, cool. Hundreds of residents showed up to the meeting to protest. And I just want to say, I totally get that. I respect that. Can you imagine having bought a few acres out there thinking you're going to have some nice country living? Right, right. And then this happens. Yeah, that'd be pretty upsetting. That's unfortunate. Um, It did kind of happen to Sunnyside residents, though, especially Mm -hmm. ones in between homes and rolling debt. Right. They had these, I remember back in the 80s. I know. It was such a pretty little neighborhood and stuff. You could watch the sunset Mm -hmm. in the West. From your home that was actually facing Sunnyside. And that is why there are now huge retaining walls and sound barrier walls yep. on Sunnyside. So it says Idaho Falls is going to double in the next 25 years. That wouldn't surprise me. We've been getting in so many new folks. By 2050. So we're going to need some sort of express route from east mm-hmm. to west in particular. North to south, we've got right. I-15. Mm-hmm. We've got the Yellowstone Highway. But east to west, we're lacking. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree with that. So we're going to need something. Well, and also, can I just talk about how slow some people are driving lately? I feel like every day I've run into someone who's going at least 10 under the, the speed limit. I feel like every day I see a post on the Life in Idaho Falls Facebook group yeah. that that calls out some driver for doing something. Right, right. But man, it's like, you know, honestly, I wish I didn't have anywhere to go like that. Like, I wish my life was just so easy that I could go 10 under the speed limit and it wasn't a care in the world. One cares. Mm-hmm. Anyway, but I guess, did you know we have a Bonneville Metropolitan Planning Organization? I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is very bubbly. <laughs> they, they said, everybody's saying we should have done this 20 years ago. I mean, yeah, we should have, but. We know that. Yeah. Uh, That's why we're doing something now. It's kind of like planting a tree. The best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time is today. (laughs) You're just nailing it tonight. Thanks. Uh, By the way, did you know that uh, we are very close to a a very important restroom in the United States? Oh, really? The the Maverick by the airport in Salt Lake City. Uh The Salt Lake City International Airport Mm -hmm. that uh, most... People from Idaho Falls are at eh, two or three times a year, right? I don't know, depending on how much you travel or yeah. pick someone up who has traveled. Mm-hmm. Um, they, The Maverick has has gotten the winner of Cintas, their 2024 America Best Restroom Contest. Oh, wow. Okay. So if you want to tinkle in a really clean restroom. <laughs> yeah, that's the one to go to. Get yourself to the Maverick. Man, their employees must be proud. Mm-hmm. I hope they're getting paid well enough. To justify that. In, in my real <laughs> estate career, I um, I probably stop at a Maverick once every other day. Oh, yeah. How can you not? Yeah. But yeah, man. And you know what? I bet that bathroom has seen a lot of foreign butts. <laughs> <laughs> 
international butts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, butts from all over the world. Okay, Tina. I think, I think that's pretty, <laughs> I just think that's interesting. I think that's impressive. And I love that that's probably a lot of international people's first time in an American restroom or maybe second or third, you know, and I, it's nice that they get to go in a nice yes. clean one. It is nice that, um, you know how uh, they're Best no longer, forward. <laughs> they're no longer called receptionists. They're called directors of first impressions. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Maverick. By the international airport in Salt Lake City is the director of first impressions right. for a lot of foreign butts. Yeah, yeah. First cheek forward, or best cheek <laughs> forward, I guess. 